So, napanood mo yung tutorial natin na to, na kung saan nagbigay tayo ng mga tips kung paano mag-improve yung BM800. And then, may kasamang tutorial doon kung paano gamit yung voice meter, right? And then, yung voice meter, pwede yung gamitin sa kahit anong mic. So, na-realize mo, uy, pwede gumanda yung quality ng mic natin. And then, may video rin ako, or tutorial, itong tutorial natin na to, na kung saan kinonect natin yung voice meter sa Audacity para just in case na magre-record kayo ng mga song covers or kahit yung original track ninyo and then gusto nyo improve yung mic quality, pwede nyo i-connect yung voice meter sa uh, Audacity or kahit ano pang digital audio workstations, kahit sa uh, Adobe o Audition pa yan. Yun nga lang, ang nangyari, biglang nagkaroon ng delay or latency yung mic ninyo. So, yun yung pag-uusapan natin kung paano natin yan i-fix. Let's go! Just in case biglang nagkaroon ng latency or parang nadidelay yung boses ninyo sa track uh, nung ginamit nyo yung voice meters as your uh, mic source dito sa Audacity, there's a way para uh, ma-fix yan. No? So what we just need to do is just to compensate for that latency kapag ka nagre-record na kayo. So ano ba yung nangyayaring sinasabi natin na ito? No? Di ba yung parang, so mag-play uh, yung track and then magre-record kayo and then sa pandinig ninyo, you're in time, pero kapag pinakinggan nyo na yung final output, medyo nadidelay kayo ng onte, di ba? So yun yung latency na imamanage natin dito sa tutorial na to. So how do we do that? So ganito yung mga steps. The first thing that you need to do is of course open your Audacity. So let's go to Audacity and then uh, we need to generate a uh, rhythm track. So go to generate, click on rhythm track. And then once you're here, uh, you can leave na yung kung ano yun nandito. And then itong number of bars, just change this to one. We just need one. And then itong beat sound, change this to cowbell para mas kita nyo yung sound waves and then click OK. And then ito yung mag nangyayari, magkakaroon kayo ng itong sound. So let's just play from the start. So you can click the home button para sa umpisa kayo. And then... Alright, so yan yung nagpa-play na track. So what we need to do now is i-record yan. No? Dito sa ating mic na dumadaan muna sa voice meter. So ito yung voice meter natin, dumadaan siya dito. And then kung mapapansin ninyo sa uh, audacity ko, ayan, voice meter yung pinanggagalingan, di ba? So what we need to do now is i-record yung track na yan dito sa mic. So how do we do that? So di ba pag pinakinggan natin yung track na yan, is, uh, maririn natin sa headset. So itatapat natin yung headset natin dito sa ating mic. But before we do that, gawa muna tayo ng isa pang track. So click this tracks, then add new, and then click mono track. And then, pakinggan na natin and then i-record na natin yung, uh, yung sounds na to. Alright, so tapos na mag-record. So pakinggan natin kung ano yung na-record. Okay, so kung mapapansin ninyo, may parang pangalawang sound, di ba? Tutunog to, and then sakalang tutunog to. So, yun yung tinatawag natin na may latency. Supposedly, i-record nyo yan ng in-time. Kaso nga, hindi ganun yung nangyayari. So, medyo palakihin natin to. So, what we need to do is, kailangan nating malaman kung gano ba yung uh, amount ng delay na yun. Alright? So, Palakihin natin to uh, by going here. Ayan. So, makikita natin. Dapat ito, itong sound wave na to, is uh, dito yan magsisimula. Eh. So, ibig sabihin, meron siyang delay na this much. So, mula dyan hanggang dito, yan yung delay or yan yung latency, di ba? So, ngayon, kailangan natin i-compensate yan dito sa audacity. So, kailangan natin malaman kung gano'ng kahaba yan. So, you can do that by going here. And then, uh, itong nasa baba, di ba? So, piliin nyo lang. Make sure na pipiliin dyan is yung start and length of selection. So, once you're there, makikita nyo yung value. Ito yung start. Dito kayo titingin. Kasi ito yung length of selection yung nasa pangalawang side. So, yung 0.270 na nandyan, yan yung amount of delay na nakikita natin dito. Alright? 
So, kailangan natin, uh, tingnan natin, i-zoom pa natin. So, just make sure na talagang nandun tayo. No? Tingnan pa natin. Zoom pa natin. Nandun na nga ba tayo? Yep, maganda na yan. Okay na yan. So, we have a delay of two, uh, 70 milliseconds. So, compensate natin yan by going here. You can click Control P or you can just go click Edit and then go to Preferences. And then, may makikita kayong ganito. What you need to do is go to this Latency Compensation. Ang ilalagay yung number dyan is itong 270 na nandito. But, negative. So, negative... 270 milliseconds. Click OK. And then, ulitin natin yung process natin kanina. I-record ulit natin yung napapakinggan niya. Alright? So, burahin muna natin tong track na to. Just highlight it. Click delete. And then, i-record ulit natin yung headset natin sa mic. Okay? Alright, so pakinggan natin yan. Tingnan natin kung nag-improve na ba. Pakinggan natin. Punta tayo sa umpisa. Click the home button and play. O, oh, ba? Medyo in time na siya actually. Sobrang ganda niya. Kung mapapansin ninyo, parang medyo meron pang pwedeng improve, right? Ito, kung, oops, nasobrahan tayo. So, punta tayo dito. Meron pa rin onting space banda dito actually. Yan, kung mapapansin ninyo. So, pwede pa natin i-improve. I-measure pa natin kung ilan pa to Okay? So, magsimula tayo. Let's say, ayan, hanggang dyan. So, ilan pa yan? So, may 10 milliseconds pa tayong pwede idagdag. So, balik lang tayo sa kanina, tas dagdagan lang natin ng 10. Okay? So, control P. And then, yung milliseconds na to dagdagan pa natin ng 10. So, magiging 280 na siya. Right? 280. Click OK. And then, um, burahin ulit natin to, And then, mag-record ulit tayo. Alright. So, tingnan natin, no? Kung uh, na-improve na ba lalo. So, ayan. Sagad na. Talagang magkalingin na siya. And then, tingnan natin yung ibang part. Yeah, mukhang magkalinya na sila, di ba? And then, um, pakinggan natin tong dalawa na to. Okay, ayan. So, in time na silang dalawa, yung dalawang track na to, uh, pagka nag-play, is in time na. Okay. So, yeah, that's it. So, ganyan yung gagawin ninyo para uh, ma-compensate nyo yung latency na yon sa Audacity. Alright, so sana nakatulong tong tutorial natin. So hopefully, ma-fix na yung problema. Kadalasang nakikita ko dito, uh, itong tanong na to, kadalasang nakikita ko sa comment section. So try this tutorial and maybe it will help you para hindi na yung nadidelay yung boses nyo dun sa track. Uh, kapag ka gumagawa kayo ng mga song covers ninyo or kahit ano pang mga kinakanta nyo yung mga kahit yung original tracks ninyo. Alright? Okay, so dyan na tayo nagtatapos. Maraming salamat sa inyong uh, pananood. Just in case na hindi pa nakakapagsubscribe, please do subscribe. Maraming salamat sa mga nakapagsubscribe na as usual. And please, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. Uh, and uh, again, to the next tutorial or to the next product review or to the next unboxing, I'll see you again. Peace out!